All right, welcome folks. The atom itself. So chemistry is the study of the universe around us, all the physical stuff that makes up reality. This is the periodic table of elements. We can see way over on the top left. So, well, it's not letting me highlight it. Way over on the top left is the H symbol. That is the hydrogen. Go all the way across to the right. There's the HE symbol in the top right. That is the helium. Right? They have a symbol. We use one or two letters to tell us what element we are discussing. And while there are on this, you'll notice there's 118, we won't talk about most of them. We're going to stick to mostly the earlier ones. But let's just start with those two. Let's talk about hydrogen and helium and what that difference really is. So on the periodic table, we had a box. It had a hydrogen in it. And way over on the other side, there was a box and it had HE in it. Well, the H symbol represents hydrogen and the HE symbol represents helium. And most of the time, but not always, the symbol kind of makes sense with the name. Um, there's only so many letters and there's way more elements, so some of the symbols don't quite make as much sense. But let's focus on these two. When I want to talk about a hydrogen atom, I just can talk about H. I don't need it in the box, I can just write H. If I want to tell you that there's multiple of them, well, remember we... So I don't think I should, let's start with it. So if I want to talk about multiple hydrogens, I just put a little number in the lower right. If I have H2, that is telling you that there are two hydrogens there. If I have H2O, well, the element O is oxygen. It's actually element number eight. Hydrogen was number one. We'll go look at the periodic table again, and you can see that symbol. There's a one above the hydrogen. There's a two above the helium. And if you look at number eight here, the oxygen, it's got an eight above it. We'll talk about what those numbers mean in a second, but most of us are familiar at this point with water. Water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Molecules were what happened when you brought multiple atoms together. So water is a molecule. And because the two types of atoms are different, it is also a compound. Where if we look just at H2 over here, well, there's two atoms, so it is definitely a molecule, but it is not a compound. Their elements are the same. And if you have helium, helium actually only shows up free-floating. There's only ever one helium, and if there's only one of something, we don't write the number. You'll notice there was no one after oxygen. We wouldn't put the atom there unless there was at least one. Like there's no sulfur zero, carbon zero, or other elements. So if we have the element symbol, we must have at least one, so we don't bother writing one. There's other compounds that we see regularly kind of society. Carbon dioxide, CO2, is one carbon and two oxygens. Methane, fairly common natural gas, if you have gas heating, is one carbon and four hydrogens. So the idea is these letters, whether it's one or two, so an H, an O, an HE, a carbon, a C, these letters represent the different elements, the different types of atoms that exist. And so each atom behaves very differently. It each needs its own symbol. So we can tell you exactly which atom we are working with on a molecule. 